Hi everybody. Today I get to talk to you about some special angle pairs and relationships that angles have as we begin our geometry course. You, you have a page available to you at Canvas, the one that's called A Workout with Important Angle Pairs, Roman numeral 1. I'm going to work that page in front of you and tell you everything I know about it. It has a sketch that looks like this one, and it begins by saying well, segment AD intersects segment BE at point Z. It also makes this little blurb. It says that AD has this mark is perpendicular to BE. Perpendicular, therefore we have a right angle. AD and, and BE are perpendicular. And that's denoted by that little square corner right there. So we knew a couple things about this sketch already. And the first thing it asked me about is a linear pair. And there are lots of linear pairs on here, but we're looking for a linear pair with angle D, Z, F. Let me tell you about linear pairs in the first place. Linear pairs are formed when two angles go together to make a straight line. Like that little angle and that little angle make this straight line together. That's a linear pair right there. I hope I could do better, but there you have a linear pair. Here I'm supposed to find a linear pair with angle D, Z, F. So I'll focus my attention on angle D, starting from D to Z to F. And here's angle D, Z, F. But I want angles that form a linear pair with it. We use my straight edge, that'll be easy. This angle makes a, a linear pair with this small angle right there. I should name that angle right there for a linear pair with angle D, Z, F. That would be angle C, Z, D. C, Z, D. But there's another angle that forms a linear pair with angle D, Z, F. If I lay this along one of the rays of that angle, this angle right here forms a linear pair. That angle is angle F, Z, A. So these two angles, the other angle would have been angle F, Z, A. These two angles form a linear pair with this angle, angle D, Z, F, or F, Z, D. That's what a linear pair looks like. And we'll see that a linear pair is always supplementary, always two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Let me take care of that, and we'll look some more. Our next question. Name the vertical angle partner with angle CZA. Let me just tell you about vertical angles for a second. Anytime you have an angle, this angle for example, if I look at the opposite rays of, those ang of this angle, let me tell you about that for a second. What does an opposite ray look like? An opposite ray has the same endpoint, thinking about the opposite ray for this, for this ray, has the same endpoint, but goes in an opposite direction, like this. Well, I can do that better. Let me do that with another marker. In the other direction. Hmm, not much better. Okay, opposite this ray would have been this ray. And opposite that ray, would have been this one. So here we have an example of a pair of vertical angles. Honestly, this angle here and this angle there are also vertical angles formed by opposite rays of each other. Vertical has nothing to do with being vertically aligned one over the other. They're just angles that are formed by opposite rays. And you might recognize here, just looking at my sketch, that vertical angles like this one and that one are congruent. They're equal in measure. This one and that one also equal in measure, which for, for geometric figures to say that they're equal in measure, we'll call them congruent. But now back to our question. I have to find a vertical angle here. And this is a bit of an interesting one. Find the vertical angle partner with angle CZA. First, let me focus my attention on angle CZA. That's this large obtuse angle. I need to find the vertical angle partner with angle CZA. And I will think, well, what ray is opposite of ZC? That would be ZF. So I want to have this ray in it. And what ray is opposite ZA? That would be ZD. So it must be the one with ZF and ZD. I can call that angle FZD. So the second question could have an appropriate answer of angle FZD. The vertical angle for this one, now let me show it with my, with my compass, this is sometimes helpful. 
the vertical angle with this guy is this guy. I could have named it FZD or I could have named it angle DZF. Would have been fine either way. Let's do the third one. Make sense of this page. Name two angles that are supplements of angle BZF. Let me just note BZF first. Got to take that back and get angle BZF. Here's angle BZF. But to be supplementary means two angles that sum to 180 degrees. If we think back to the days of the Babylonians, a full revolution is 360 degrees, and a half of a revolution, like this, would be 180 degrees. And two angles that make that straight line together will be summing to 180 degrees, therefore be supplementary. So that's what I'm looking for here. Back to my question. Name two angles that are supplements of angle BZF. Here's angle BZF. I'm looking for an angle that would be its supplement. And I think I'll color it green. Focus on that angle. How about this angle? Those two make a straight line together, don't they? And since they make a straight line together, they are a linear pair. And every linear pair is always supplementary. So an answer to this question would be angle BZC. But isn't there another angle that would be the supplement of angle BZF? And as I look across that, I think, well, something that would make a straight line with it so they would be a linear pair, so they would be supplementary. And if I do the opposite ray of ZB, that would be ZE. And I say, well, these two angles make a linear pair. For, therefore, this angle is the supplement of that angle with the blue arc. I can name that angle, too. That would be angle FZE. So these angles, FZE, are both supplements of this, of this angle with the blue arc. And you might be thinking to yourself, and I would be too, aren't these angles also vertical angles with one another? So it turns out that when two angles are supplements of the same angle, then they're congruent to each other. We'll prove that later, but for right now, just a little heads up. Let's look at the next question while I kind of clean up my sketch. And then, on the fourth question here, Name two angles that are complements of angle BZC. What does it mean to be complementary? Well, in a geometry class, to be complementary means two angles that add up to 90 degrees. We're recalling that this is a right angle right here. So I got some right angles in this picture, and I'm looking for two angles that add up to 90 degrees. That's the definition of complementary, two angles that sum to 90 degrees. I'm looking for the complement of angle BZC. I'll focus on angle BZC first. That's this one. And I need an angle that would be the complement of it, so it would sum to 90 degrees. Let me think of that through. It is clear to me that that's a right angle right there. If this is a right angle, by golly, its supplement is also a right angle. These two angles must sum to 90 degrees. I'll make a note of that. I say that this angle with the blue arc is the, not the supplement, excuse me, but the complement. These two angles are complements of one another. So I would report that one to be angle C, Z, D. But it does say give two angles that are the complements of, uh, let me call this angle one. And angle two is its complement, isn't it? Isn't there another angle that is the complement of angle one? And it would be something that would have to be the same size as angle two. And looking over here, isn't this angle, the vertical angle partner with angle two, this one, congruent with angle two. Those would be congruent. Therefore, by golly, if these two add up to 90 together and complementary, and since these are the same size, that these two must be complementary. I could name that angle AZF. Angle AZF. Lots of times later, it'll be simpler to name them with just a number. But for right now, as we're getting started, trying to lay everything up carefully, I'm going to name angles carefully with three letters most often. Okay, let's look at the next thing and see what we could do. I think we get to write equations now. I like doing that even better. Got three of these equations to write. This is an interesting circumstance. Talks about angle FZE and angle CZE and got all this 5x and 10x plus 60. That's not what I would think about first. Let's just look at these two angles and see what relationship they have. Angle FZE, FZE, that's this one. And angle CZE, CZE, that's this one. 
I gotta decide what relationship those two angles have that with the blue arcs on them. And I see right away that this angle and that angle make a straight line together. These two angles form a linear pair, and if they form a linear pair, they must be supplementary. Let me make a little note about that. You might write this also. Angle F Z E and angle C Z E, uh-huh. Are a linear pair. And if they're a linear pair, I'm going to say that means they've got to be supplementary. He abbreviates that. Therefore, I know they sum to 180 degrees. So I can write an equation FZE 5x plus angle CZE 10x plus 60. And these two, because they're a linear pair, because they're supplementary, add up to 180 degrees. Now let's just solve that equation. We'll gather like terms on the left-hand side. I got 5x and 10x. We'll call that 15x plus 60 equals 180. Subtract 60 from both sides, and you can write that if you want to, but what you got to do is just think it. Subtracting 60 from both sides, which would leave you with 15x equals 120. Then I've got to divide both sides by 15. Use a calculator if you need to, but I'm thinking that 15 goes into 120 eight times. I'll divide both sides by 15. And that makes me think that x is equal to 8. I'm not quite finished here yet. I've got to find the measures of these couple of angles. This was angle FZE. Would have been good to have parentheses about it in the first place. And if x is truly 8, 5 times 8 would have made this angle have to have been 40 degrees. So I really ought to write it this way. The measure of angle FZE, uh, that's what little M there stands for, the measure of angle FZE equals 40. And the measure of angle CZE is reminding that x is equal to 8, 10 times 8, there's 80, plus 60 more, there's 140. So there we've got a couple of angles, one at 40 degrees and one at 140 degrees, this one 40, this one 140, yep, they're, they are supplementary, which had to be true since they're a linear pair. Let's do a couple more things to see what comes.